everyone, and it's time for part six of our Junie B. Jones, first grader at last. So as you all know, we um, are almost done with the book already. It feels like we have, we just started it. I know, the book, so it has eight chapters, so we're on chapter six right now. So I only have to make two more videos, and then we will move on with book 19, which I'm surprised to see about. Okay, so um, I yeah, I came back from the festival like um, like two hours ago. So I, I got a tattoo on my um, arm. It's not a real tattoo, just so you know, it could come off. And plus, that all the. the the thing that also proves it, that they did not lose, use a needle. All they used was wipes and color like paint. That's all they used. So it's glittery and sparkly. So that proves that it's not a real tattoo. I got it back in. All right. Well, let's move on with the chapter. i got to find the right page. There's chapter four. There. Jimmy B. Jones, First Grader, At Last, Book 18, by Barbara Park, illustrated by Denise Brunkus. Chapter 6, The E-Game. I sat in a chair next to Mrs. Weller's desk. She asked me lots of questions. First, she asked me how I like my summer vacation. Then, she asked me how I liked first grade and how I liked Mr. Scary. That is called stall talk, I believe. Finally, Mrs. Weller stood up. Have you noticed the eye charts I have hanging on my wall, Jimmy B? She asked. She pointed at them. Eye charts are posters that help us test our eyesight, she explained. I have two different kinds. See? One has alphabet letters on it, and the one right next to it is filled with funny E's. That one is called an E-chart. I looked at that funny thing. Whoa, I said. Those are the craziest E's I've I ever saw. They are backwards and forwards and upside down. You're right, said Mrs. Weller. The E's are all mixed up, aren't they? And today, you and I are going to play a game with those mixed up E's. It's called the E game. After that, Mrs. Weller got a little paper cup and she showed me how to hold it over one of my eyes. We're going to be testing each of your eyes separately, she said. While one eye is hiding under the cup, the other eye will play the game, okay? I shrugged my shoulders, cause what choice did I have? Mrs. Weller showed me where to stand to play the game. Then she went back to the E chart. All right, she said. Now, each time I point to one of the E's, I want you to tell me the direction it's facing. Are you ready, Joni B? I shrugged again. Then I hid one eye behind the cup, and Mrs. Weller pointed at the first E. I pointed my finger up. That one is facing up at the ceiling, I told her. Good, she said. Excellent. I feel a little better inside. Mrs. Weller pointed to the next E. I turned my finger down at the floor. That one is facing down, I said. Mrs. Weller smiled and nodded. I stood up taller, cause this wasn't as hard as I thought. 
After that, the nurse kept on pointing at more E's. And I kept on telling her which way they were facing. Right, left, down, left, up. I stopped and grinned. Hey, what do you know? I'm a breeze at this game. Right, Mrs. Weller? Right, right, I said. Mrs. Weller winked at me. We're almost done, she said. Only a few more E's to go. She pointed to a new row. There was a fuzzy smudge next to her finger. Whoops, I said. What happened there? Did someone spill something on your chart? Mrs. Weller did a little frown. She kept pointing at the smudge. Can you tell me anything about this mark at all, Judy B? she asked. Yes, I said. It's a smear ball. Mrs. Weller moved her finger over a little bit. What about this mark here? Can you tell me anything about this one? I stared and stared at that thing. Hmm, that one's a toughie, I said. Finally, Mrs. Weller came over to me. That's fine, she said. You did just fine, Jimmy B. After that, we played the same game with the other eye. And guess what? I saw three more smudges and a smeary. After I was done, I sat down in the chair again. Mrs. Weller said I need glasses. I do not like Mrs. Weller. Uh-oh, well, that was the end of the chapter. Well, that's um a cliffhanger. A cliffhanger is also... Like another word for I I like like I really want to see what happens like I really want to go to the next chapter or the next page, but I'm sorry you're gonna if you, go check the video right after this video is done right after this video is done you get to see what happens for um the next chapter. All right, but until I see you guys stay safe and healthy I want to see what happens too so bye.